Okay, so my name is Karina, and um, for my Chicano Studies class, we were assigned a project to basically um, show how Aztec medicine is, or how we believe it is nowadays. And I chose this picture of part of my garden because I believe that this relates a lot to how the Aztecs practiced medicine back then. Um, the Aztecs believed a lot in using like natural remedies and herbs, and I think that reflects a lot today in the way people um, practice medicine. And every every family, every person has their own remedies, especially if you come from uh, in America, I think it shows a lot too. Like for example, my garden, my family garden. Um, we have savila for like burns, and little wounds, and you apply it to the wound. And we also have like mint, so like you make yourself a tea of that if you're feeling um bad. And I feel like the Aztecs. Um, a lot of times, like the midwife, she would create little remedies for the um person in labor and they would use things like this to cure themselves and to help with their illness okay but yeah like um basically i think this picture represents aztec medicine really well because it has plants it has savila it has mint and like we even read about how they would make teas with like possum tails and different kinds of things in it and that's all they had and I think that's really good. And personally, I believe that natural remedies might even be better than some remedies and medicines that we have today because this is coming from the earth. Like, how bad could it be? So in a way, I do agree more with Aztec medicine. And I think it'd be really beneficial to practice this more. Like, I know personally from what my family uses, what, from what my grandma tells me to use, it does help, like, it's useful, and, yeah, I think this is a good representation of Aztec medicine, um, they would look at our medicine today and, like, see us as weird, the same way as we might see their medicine as weird with possum tails and teas and stuff, they see, they'll see ours weird because we use all these chemicals in our body and, all they had was like the earth and plants and yeah so the second part of my project was basically a picture that represented how I took care of myself this picture represents how I take care of myself um, in many ways it has like four or five different things that I do um, and the first thing I want to talk about is um, the guitar and the notebook um, when we were learning about Aztec medicine and stuff, we learned about susto. And it's basically like how imbalance and being stressed can cause you to get sick. And nowadays, like, we hear about that a lot. Like, people going to therapy for that and um, having a lot in their lives and people getting stressed and depressed. And um, basically what I do to chill out and relax myself because I'm active in a lot of things is... I like to practice my guitar, play my guitar, and like that clears my mind so much. And also, I like to write in a journal. And um, the journal really helps because, you know, it just helps clear your mind of everything. And um, I feel that once I feel myself to start get cluttered, I like to write it out or play it out in my guitar, with my guitar. So, yeah, I always try and make some time, like, every day, even if it's 20, 10, 20 minutes, um, to play my guitar or to write in my journal. And um, another thing we learned about was tonali. So, basically, what tonali is, it's, like, your energy, your persona, your character, who you are, really. Um, I think it's the way you carry yourself. And um, me... I'm personally a really outgoing person. I love to talk. I love to meet new people. I love to be in places with people. And um, the concert tickets represent that a lot because I love 
being in a place where everybody's gathered there for one thing. Like, we all bond over that one thing. And I think that's a really great, like, representation of me. Like, I always try to go to concerts. And also the Key Club badge. Um, Key Club is a big part of my life. I love to volunteer. I love to spread my energy and my happiness and help others. And that's a big part of my life. And also the little rainbow pin. Um, I'm a big activist for gay rights. Um, I always try and educate people. I always try and make a difference in a world, especially that world, because I know how hard it is for us people in the LGBT community. Um, and yeah, um, this picture basically represents me and how I take care of myself. And yeah, thank you.